The other day I was sitting at my desk doing something very important when my girlfriend came into the office and asked Will you fix my mom's computer? Sure babe, but what's in it for me? To what she answered Oh honey, it's not about what you're gonna get, it's about what you're not gonna get Okay, she'll have it in a week So this is the Sony VAIO VPCS 110 GB. Great name, might as well have called it Rumpelstiltskin and made it safe backwards. Regardless of the name, I like the way Sony laptops look. They are usually very particular with buttons like the CD-ROM drive eject button on the front and the power plug and button seem to be integrated in the hinge mechanism. It's just a few quirky things that say yes, this was made by Sony. This laptop is running a first generation Core i3 from 2010, sporting a spinning hard drive and 4 gigs of RAM. Originally, I wanted to upgrade the RAM and swap the hard drive for an SSD, but knowing what the quarantine did to prices of PC parts, we are going to swap the hard drive and hope for the best. After all, this laptop is just for internet browsing and email. A second thing we need to fix is screen brightness. Clearly, this is not a hardware problem because before Windows 10 loads, I can see the post text and Windows logo are a lot brighter than what the desktop is. Now, a problem we have with this is that Sony only made drivers for Windows 7 as this is a Windows 7 laptop. That's very unfortunate and crappy support. There should be drivers for Windows 10, but there aren't and we need to see about what to do. After trying to force a couple of different drivers, I went into the internet in search for a solution and arrived at this superuser.com thread. Apparently, you can edit the registry to make the thing point at the controls for brightness and absolutely it works for this laptop model. So thank you Mr. Green Online, wherever you are, you have helped me and my in-laws. When removing laptop screws, you gotta make sure that you put them back in the same position. As you can see, out of six screws removed, there are three different sizes. If you use a big screw where you're supposed to use a small one, you can make it push on the keyboard on the other side and leave a mark. Or even worse, you can short the motherboard. When I take them out, I like to organize them in the general order where they go so I don't make any mistakes when putting the laptop back together. In notebook computers, usually the hard drive goes inside a caddy like this one, so we're gonna need to remove it and replace the hard disk drive with a solid state drive in the caddy before putting everything back together. Alright, easy as pie. Now what we need to do is install Windows 10 again and for that we're going to need a bootable flash drive with a Windows 10 installation. If you need to learn how to do this, there are plenty of sites on the internet that will show you how. All you need is a good internet connection to download a copy of Windows and at least an 8GB flash drive. I already carry one as part of my EDC. If you're into the EDC culture, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel right now if you haven't done it yet. Now we can put the USB drive in place and install Windows, right? Sometimes, but most of the times we need to get into the BIOS utility. I can see the computer has detected the SSD, so that means we are doing good. Now we need to change the boot order so the computer starts with the system in the USB drive. So we enable an external boot device and we change it to first in the boot priority menu. Now, when the installation prompts you for the Windows serial number, you no longer need that right away. Microsoft has done a wonderful job of registering the copies of Windows 10 to the devices they are installed in. So after installation, we should be able to go on the internet and confirm that there is a copy of Windows registered to this laptop. While the system is installing itself, let's address another issue. I have done this upgrade for many family members and friends and there is one more trick up my sleeve I want to share with you. Whenever doing this, make sure you put in the cost of an external case for the old hard drive. This way you're not going to be a slave of their backup. Usually people have tons of media that take a lot of time to upload somewhere and it could be a terrible hassle to commit to something like that. This way you can hand them their backup safely on an external drive without doing any extra work. Windows is installed and the screen is automatically dark again, and there are a couple of missing drivers. Before doing anything, you should let Windows update to the latest version. Sometimes that fixes driver issues, but that hasn't done anything for us, so we're going to do a little registry edit trick again. Trick works fine, but this time around I don't have the on-screen brightness display I had on the old Windows 10 installation. 
For the two drivers that are missing, I'm already going to put that external hard drive to good use and fetch the drivers that were properly working before. To do that, you should update the driver through the device manager and tell the computer to look in the external drive inside the Windows folder in the System32 subfolder. So drivers are installed, but there are two issues that still need to be taken care of. I can't get any scrolling on the touchpad and the on-screen display for the brightness control is still not showing. To install the display for brightness control on these old Sonys, you have to install the Sony shared library and then the Sony notebook utilities in that order. For the touchpad scrolling, I managed to get one finger scrolling with the Synaptics driver with this reference. I couldn't get two finger scrolling to work. After trying a few different drivers and settings, this makes me believe this trackpad is not compatible with two finger scrolling. So now it's just a question of cleaning this laptop up a bit, returning it and normalizing my sex life once again. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video.